hey guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl sylvia so today this is me attempting to do an acrylic nail by myself um i don't know what i was thinking but stay tuned and enjoy the video i'm going to be talking about the um do's and don'ts of acrylic nails um because i make the error on our behalf okay so the first thing i'm doing is filing the nails and just to make sure that um I remove the shine from the nail then I go in with my cuticle to remove that excess um, cuticle at the edge of the nail that way your acrylic doesn't pull it out or get stuck on your skin so next thing I am buffing to ensure that the filing I did is not rough okay so clean your workspace then this is the nail I'm using it's a glass tip um, unfortunately it's not the half tip it's a full it will cover your full um, your full nail so that's what I'm using and then I'm going in with the glue to just attach the nail so apparently I'm not putting the glue on my nail I'm putting it on the glass tip um, you can put it on your nail if you want the glue I mean if you can, you can put it on your nail okay so once you put it you press it down for like 10 seconds before you leave it that way it gets stuck to your nail okay don't just glue it and put it there press it press them well well okay <laughs> then the next night I did was um, put it under the UV light just so that I can dry quickly um, that's unnecessary so I'm done with the 10 fingers so we are going to the acrylic part of the nail which to be honest guys this nail it didn't come out the way i planned it didn't come out the way i wanted it to so but i still rocked it i'm still rocking the nail right now so i'm going in with my monoma i'm going to do a video um showing you all the items you need for acrylic nail as a beginner so i would do that definitely you can watch that and you can use that list to go to the market so i have my um powder from the bunch that's the name i think it's a the guy i bought it from he's the one that produced it so it's i don't know if this acrylic powder is good because it gave me issues when i was working with it i will definitely try for that brand because this is the um first one i'm using okay so i this is the one i have so i will try other brand and see if it was this acrylic powder or it was me not doing the right thing just because i was doing it by myself okay so you just dip your brush in the monoma and um rub it on the tip of the cup to reduce the excess amount of monoma and then dip it in your acrylic powder then you drop you put it on your nail tip um you don't put it at the beginning of the tip of your nail you put it almost midway that way you can give that um fuller effect at the um crown of your nail i don't know if that makes sense but just watch what i'm doing so as you see i'm just dragging it down and this acrylic powder is giving me thick vibe like it dries quickly guys it dries so fast and it was getting um it was sticking to the brush which wasn't good at all so um i just had to work with it so as you can see i'm doing all purple for this nail um just try make it as smooth as you can you are going to go ahead and file it so just do your best now and leave perfection for the filing okay so that's what i'm going to do for most of the nail like i said this nail is it was a fail for me because maybe this right hand the left hand rather looked better than the other one um because i'm right-handed but i will definitely try it again because i need to perfect doing my nails myself this one looks very good by the way um it did it came out well so i'm doing an ombre um nail there so i'm going to go in with the white um this white is very chalky like it is very chalky so i struggled with it but guys i'm just going to leave you to watch this 
disaster of a tutorial <laughs> so the tips that i'm going to leave for you when you're doing before you start doing your acrylic nail with a powder that you've not used before test it out first before you use it i think that's one of the things that um gave me problems test it out first then another thing you should do is to if you can get an electric file because guys while i was filing this nail like the acrylic on my nail ate the whole file like the file was empty by the time i was done if you're a nail tech you'd understand what i mean by eating the whole file like the file was left clear like clean clear so get an electric file i think that is a good investment and it saves a whole lot of time so that is my advice for you guys another tip as well is for you to practice your beads um when you're using the acrylic powder when you dip your brush in the monoma and dip it in the powder that um round thing that it forms is called i think it's called the bead so you want to practice that and also how to um get this bead evenly distributed on the nail so that is one thing that you should work on i will work on that especially doing it for myself um because this is my first time doing my nails by myself acrylic for that matter okay so that's basically what i am doing just going in doing this whole at this point i was like what am i doing am i should i just stop this or do i continue but it's coming out really good like the issue i had was with the filing that's just my the issue that i had okay so keep going i'm just going to leave you guys to watch this and i'm going to keep quiet So I am done with the second um, hand and I'm just going in with the file to um, file out the excess and the edges because it's not smooth you have to file it so I'm done filing as you can see uh, you can see it but look at the file there it's already eaten up like so I painted I used the top coat and then I put it in the my hand in the UV light just so that it dries up quick and yeah that's basically how this whole thing turned out so this is the end look um, like I said this nail was not given so I'm just going to rock this for a week and then we'll do another video till we get it right okay so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Thank you so, so much and have a lovely day. Bye.